jump scare. Alexa, stop. Quit these stupid little videos. Quit. I'm. You know what? I'm not even that tired. I don't know why I'm being erratic. Oh. Low key, not even gonna cap. I did snooze my alarm one more time. I picked up my phone and it said 501. And I was like, nope. And I told Alexa to snooze, so oh the 15 minutes late, but it's okay, it's still in the fives. Oh uh. mm -hmm. look what we have here. <laughs> Alexa, what's the time? Uh it's not even that late. Alexa, what's the time? I wonder when my time <clears throat> is gonna come to an end where I decide that it's actually time to stop making these videos. Like, when am I gonna be just too old to just retire the 5 a.m. videos? Like, I'm turning 20 this year. You stupid old bitch. I don't know. I'll let y'all know. This weekend, I was waking up at 11 every single day. Like, just straight, don't give a f vibes. It had a lot to do with the fact that, I don't know, it was like snowing in California. Oh, oh, what's going on? And we were like straight up flooded. Like we couldn't even drive anywhere. There's like legit nothing to wake up for but sh weather. So I just stayed in bed. <laughs> so I decided waking up at 5 a.m. would truly fix my sleep schedule. That was my lifetime plan, okay? So here we are. I'm gonna moisturize my face. I've been using this one. I don't love this. I feel like it doesn't moisturize my face as good. I look like a peacock, bro. What the f I wanna check the weather real quick because, um, yep, that's what the I imagine 39 degrees. Quit weather. Sh I still gotta wear the sunscreen though. <laughs> Wait a minute, bro. My dog just stole my mat. I got up and I came to get ready, and she stole him. <laughs> You're probably wondering, like, why are you even waking up early? Like, what the is there to do this early well, let me tell you what it is it's to get a fat ass that's the only thing open right now the gym now that i am a gym rat and i spend my entire life at the gym yesterday i spent legit so much money on oh, alpha oh. let me just show you yep crack the code so many new sports bras leggings and legit a thousand new shorts I'm gonna wear this top. It's just a sports bra. The matching leggings. This is in the color chai. I was at high, but now I just crashed. Like, my energy is just like, ugh. Just put on my set. Look at how cute this sports bra is. Before y'all come at me like, oh my gosh, you're gonna do your makeup for the gym. Yes. Are you kidding me? I cannot work out unless I feel my absolute best. The better I look, the harder I will literally perform at the gym. I don't know if there's any correlates with that psychology, but I just put on the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Too Faced Concealer. Blush is so freaking important in a makeup routine i didn't realize the importance of blush till i started to look tired every little day and i was like wait a minute it is like awfully quiet in this house right now and it's actually creeping me out set our brows with benefit set with this charlotte tilbury here we go brush out the lashes the odor and very important i'm gonna do my hair we went to the snow yesterday and so much freaking ice landed on my hair Whew. i think i'm gonna wear this one it's just a cropped alpha Lee. Because it is freaking 50 degrees outside. Black Nike socks. I think we might be doing leg day. So I'm gonna wear my Converse. Perfect. Let's go downstairs to get our shoes. Timestamp 547. We're still in the fives. Hi, on my way. Bruh, get off my bed. I need to prep my water bottle. My wallet looks like we're good. Let's head out to the gym. Hi. Morning. Oh, jeez. Me and Taylor usually carpool, and then also my car just got wrapped, so I can't like have it in the rain. And it's gonna rain today. And we're heading out to the gym. Yeah. This is the Celsius we drink. It's a non-carbonated one. Cheers. <laughs>
just left the gym. Successful. We were there for two hours. It is 8.15. And now we are on our way to pick up my car. Get Starbucks. I've never tried it. Looks like a whole lot of plain oatmeal. Nuts, raisins, but those are mid. Bye. Ooh. Hey. We are in the you guys haven't seen me in this car in a really long time. We got my matcha. We worked out. It's been a good, good morning. It's 9.43 a.m. I woke up at 5. I dropped off this comforter like literally a week and a half ago and I just hadn't came to pick it up. I'm so upset that I'm losing my stupid f***ing voice. I want to scream. Fuck! Ah! I just have a cold, but I don't know when I got it. Now we can go home and make my bed all pretty. It's been looking rough. Welcome to deep cleaning with Nat. Because this bitch looks dirty, all right? I haven't changed the sheets in like three weeks, no cap. I can sit here and lie to you and say, oh, I just cleaned the sheet. No, I didn't. No, the f I didn't. Hey, that's a pee stain. Who peed on the bed? I'm gonna wash. Pillow covers too. Everything's gonna be washed because this needs to be sanitized with bleach. I have like a thousand pillows and this is where it becomes an issue. Cause like... The worst part about life, folding laundry. These are Ritzia joggers that go Jake got me new shoes for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna put them in my closet and I'm doing this giant like spring clean out right now. This bag is just full of just stuff that I haven't used within the past three months. If I haven't used it in three months, I'm not gonna use it. These are the new babies to add to the collection. I'm gonna be ready for summer. Look at these dresses. I bought a bunch of new stuff. This is what we call progress. It's almost done, but I quit. Bruh. The stuff is still in the dryer, so there's not much I can do here. I bought this plant and it looks like a mini little palm tree, right? I think it does. It is so cute. Look at the pot. Oh, this is for the patio. It's giving summer, spring, all those vibes. Perfect, 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 perfect. The girls have a cardiologist appointment. That's like really freaking far away. We're gonna head out. It is 11.37. It's literally about to be midday and I feel like I've done a whole lot of nothing. Like literally woke up at 5 a.m. and then like gymmed. And I couldn't tell you what else I did. My shoes back on. Frozen ass chicken. <laughs> When I get back, we're gonna make dinner. Oh, this will give chicken time to thaw. What are we making for dinner? I don't know, something. I don't know what yet, but. Guess what we're making? A protein shake. For what? For this fat ass. Dude. This is the simple recipe to make yourself a protein shake that literally tastes like a fing milkshake from. Not McDonald's, but let's say McDonald's so our head believes it. Blender, banana, chia seeds, oats, preferably protein oats. That way you get like triple, quadruple the protein. A protein shake. Doesn't matter which shake it is. I got these in bulk at Sam's and they were cheap, so. You should definitely measure how much you put of this, but I just, you know what? My eyeballs are the measure, you know? But not too much. Some light. Same with this one. I eat oatmeal so much, I need to go restock. About a quarter cup. You got your little concoction. Crank it to six. I don't care how good you clean this stuff. If it has been sitting in your cabinet for more than like a day, you better rinse that bitch out. <laughs> Smells delish. And bone apple f tit. It, there's a little bit of extra in here. <laughs> Put it in a Starbucks cup to make your brain think you're drinking Starbucks. It works every time. We're ready. Let's go take the babies to the bed. We are heading now. Babies are locked in the bed. Hi, can I do a chicken bowl with white meat? Honestly, I could have boogies, cough. I'm gonna f what I have. Losing my voice is like it's the best because you're not loud. <laughs> you're not getting a chicken bowl. Park right here, Natalie Cuevas. Natalie Cuevas, soon to be Macias. Chicken bowl, avocado. I should ask for extra protein because you know that needs it, but I do have my protein shakes. Get me the Waba sauce. Stop the battle within your soul. We're in the office right you now. The girls just went back. So they're both getting echo pads. What happened to you? You hear Thea? That's Thea. That's fucking Thea. 
doesn't make you smart It seems your heart just needs a fresh start We got really good news about the girl, so it was a very successful, bruh, successful. All right, we are back home. I'm gonna cut my chicken breast. I really need to be better at cooking at home because lava grill is so expensive. Seasoned salt, garlic pepper, oh, black pepper. I'm telling you, I'm so Onion powder, garlic powder, and normally I would add paprika, but I just don't have any right now. And you mix. This is why the gloves are so important. Oh, bruh. I quit one. A little bit of Italian seasoning, and you call it a day. Wash your cutting board so you don't get salmonella. The only veggies I have is green bell pepper because I desperately have to go grocery shopping, unfortunately. Our handy dandy little pot. Avocado oil. Chicken is just like the most lean, good food to eat. I eat this every day. You guys are a little far from me. Picture of my food. I have it right here. <coughs> Jacob made rice and it just completed the food, but I'm losing my voice more and more and it hurts really bad to talk. So I'm gonna eat on my little dinner and watch Netflix. Okay, I'll be back. Good morning. I thought I was gonna wake up better today, but I actually can't even speak and it hurts so Everything coming out of my nose is blood, and I don't know why. I sound like sh I sound bad, but it also really, really hurts to talk. I just finished organizing my bathroom. It took me so long. I've been doing this since 7. It is almost 10 p.m. right now. Special delivery. Got a mac and cheese cup. In case you guys are wondering, no, I am not feeling better. My voice is kind of coming back. I sound a lot better than I did freaking this morning. I sound like sh I bought this little corner thingy and I put this plant, my new cleanser, this to honestly just match the blue. And then down here, this is bath salt, bath bombs, and my little whey perfume. I just thought that looked super cute in that little corner. And then I bought these, so I put my soap in here. In here, I have the toothpicks. And I also added this right here. Look it, it just has all my cute little essentials. And then I organized down there. I'm at the point where like, it looks clean, so I'm gonna compromise that door. I don't care. Anyways, I decided to do an unwinding routine. I should've done yesterday but I honestly just felt like shit that I want to sleep. I'm gonna run you guys through my unwinding. This is the cleanser I use to take off my makeup. Before that I'm gonna wash my hands. You add this cleanser. This removes literally all my makeup. This is my first cleanse. Going in for cleanse number two. I just was wearing honestly a lot of makeup today. You go in and you cleanse one more time. And so normally now I brush my teeth, but since I have to eat this delicious dinner, let me eat this so then we can brush my teeth after. My hands got all freaking dirty, so I'm gonna put on PJs real quick. Hold up. All right, I put on my bottoms, but before I put on my top, I'm gonna show you guys my little like stretch mark routine for my boobies. This is the bra I use at night. It's the little front clip one. So when I first got my stretch marks, I always thought that it was like, you know, bio oil, like everybody always says, bio oil this, bio oil that, so I bought it. Then I started really doing my research, and I saw that people were saying the only thing that really works for a stretch mark is well they have to be red which mine are red they said that the only things that work is a hyaluronic acid tretinoid and retinol this is what i use a tretinoid cream i got this from a med spa this hyaluronic serum and then i finish it off with this burst retinol cream right here i got this one at target that tape right there that's the surgical tape and it's supposed to help fade my scars so that's what i do for under here i get fully naked and then i do these things in steps but obviously because i'm recording i'm gonna put my other bra on this is the surgical bra i use for tretinoid I know you're only supposed to use like a pea size, so I'm just using very little bit. These are like the stretch marks, so I'll put it kind of like around the boob. I honestly just add it where I already have the stretch marks. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it everywhere, but I don't do this every day. I try to do it two to three times a week. This is the hyaluronic serum. This I do use a lot. I saw people say that this really helped. Girl, I'm desperate. I just want them to go away to moisturize the whole boob, and then I put that in the whole boob. And that's all I do for my little booby skincare. Time to brush my teeth. 
So now, face. I used a few serums, and I'm going to show you guys. The Salicylic Acid by La Roche-Posay. But I used that one yesterday, so I'm not going to use that today. And then there's this Youth to the People Retinol and Niacinamide. So I'm going to use this one today. And then I use this Nighttime Repair Lotion by Circadia. To moisturize on top of that. Aquaphor on the lips. Pop in my liners. And you call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching to get ready with me. Or waking up at 5 a.m. with me. I'm going to go to bed now. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Yeah, yeah.